Welcome, everybody, to a very special episode of the H3 Podcast. Today is my first ever debate against the one and only Steven Crowder, who, it, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Steven Ethan, Crowder. Please stand up. Uh, who's standing up? Ethan, please stand Ethan, up. Ethan, oh, man. Ethan, please stand up. <laughs> who am I to disobey our, our great, uh, glorious leader? Um, Crowder challenged me to a debate. He called me a layup. He said I was stupid. Well, Stephen, I think the debate speaks for itself. Stephen Crowder, for those of you that don't know, is probably one of the most hateful, bigoted people on the platform. Racist, homophobic, I mean, pretty much hits every box. Uh, we made this big, beautiful compilation of some of his greatest hits, but it's actually so heinous and offensive that YouTube uh, age restricted the first upload of our video. So that all is available for our members, the whole with the whole compilation, everything, which is, you know, adds a lot of atmosphere. But uh, for the sake of this version, we had to cut all of that out. But um, he is, uh, let, let's just take my word for it in that case, a giant douche. Well, my, my tiff with Stephen came when he said that our clip about COVID, when we were saying it's okay to listen to scientists said it was his favorite clip of all time. We went back and forth for people who had been following, and Stephen boldly challenged me to a debate and a video titled, Your Move, Ethan. I will you invite you jerk. on the show, uh, Ethan Klein. I will have my, you know what, I'll follow you on Twitter. I will have Darren, my booker, reach out where you can come on this show. Darren's his dad, by the way, right? Just say your dad, bro. He keeps trying to hide that it's his dad. You guys will get more info about the dad. But uh, Darren's his dad. We usually go after uh, political figures, science, authoritative sources yeah. right on this show. Usually those are the people who we have to debate. Change My Mind is not a debate, but we've had politicians, scientists, Pulitzer winners. Uh, and every now and then, a layup crosses our, our, our path who, we, you know, we just, just kind of like the stick that you're only capable of. Now, in our original video about Crowder, we had noticed that he had reached out to me to book me on his show. And he was kind of butthurt that I ghosted him all this time. And in this video, he claims here that he never reached out to a, a booker and that, that I'm lying about it. So here's what he says about that. I'm going to assume that you didn't blatantly lie in some of the things that you said, that you're just really lazy or incapable of your due diligence. So you said some, we'll get to female booker reached out to you for the show. Hey, Gerald, have I ever had a female booker? Uh, that's, that's a no. Never, that's a ever, negative. ever. Now you're either lying. We don't work with women on this show. So that's impossible. Or you're so ignorant, lazy, because I don't want to bully you, and then you go and try and get us moved. You're Not so bullying. lazy, you didn't even just verify the fact that it was complete. Well, I, you know what? I uh, actually, I took this to heart, so I said, you know what, Stephen, I am going to look into this. I found the email that was sent to me. It was very professional, um, and it still had her social media contacts on it. And so I followed her down on Instagram, and I said, hey, blank, did you ever do booking for Louder with Crowder? I'm just trying to verify that this email I got from you invited me on the show is real or not. Thanks. Here's the email, by the way. Super professional. Definitely a real email, by the way. Uh, this one in particular. She immediately responded to me. She said, yes, I did booking for him years ago for a few months. I'm not quite sure whose contact you'd have now. I know his dad does his booking for him, though. Let me know if you need it to try his finest contact. Interesting that she knows that detail. That makes me think that is very real. And that he's lying about inviting me on his show. How odd. Well, yeah, and, and while we're talking about lying, Stephen, why don't you tell him that you never filed a lawsuit? Tell, tell us if you filed that lawsuit against YouTube, Stephen. Come on, be honest with your viewers. And, you know, Stephen says he doesn't want to bully me, but here he goes on to say this. And I am very and I am feeling very insecure now that Stephen has taken a shot at me <coughs> with the Kleenex. Let me just say, first Wait. of all, you have Hold on a second. Get now, we were making fun of the fact that Stephen had Kleenex on his table, which is pretty funny. Let's be honest. He's sitting there with gun holsters and tissue. I mean, what is he crying every second? So listen to this. Get out of here. Uh, that's due to allergies, okay? Uh, so I had, I had a bronchial thing, which is, community guidelines, an immutable condition. Oh. It's genetic. Oh, poor Steven with his allergies. Don't put the tissue on your desk. It's funny. 
All right, don't get so twisted up. Look how twisted he gets about me laughing about him crying all the time. He needs a box of tissue on his desk. But I guess there's a ceasefire here, so we can talk about any genetic conditions, like sure. the lack of chin, lack of beard, 120-pound mm. man wearing the Cinderella bandana on his head. That Try one I didn't get. What's the 120-pound man? Cinderella? I, I don't... I couldn't really follow. If he's talking about me, I'm, 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 I am not 120 pounds. Trust me, dude. We don't Why have a... <laughs> right. Well, anyway. And to compensate with a beard that he uses <laughs> just for men or the... That's my favorite. Race, like E.T. in the cornfield. It's so stupid, bro. <laughs> the point is... I always think it's, like, hilarious when people deba actually go to the... <laughs> debase themselves to making fun of my Tourette's, you know. It's like, well, okay, dude. I really got you hard with the tissue thing, bro. Just don't yeah, put I the mean, tissue you, on. I can't hide my Tourette's. You fired the first volley by making fun of his allergies. So. Your allergies, dude. <laughs> I, poor Which you Steven didn't Crowder actually has do. a disability. Just, yeah, we didn't yeah, realize he, I, he you know, had a disability like that. Yeah, I'm so sorry, bro. Ableist much? I had all that coming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm deeply offended, though, at the bullying uh, portrayed, and I take absolute cross with that. You know, and Dan had this one moment that actually went a little bit viral in the political community that Stephen notably ignored during our tit for tat. I'll play it for you here. And this is where that I'm makes leading sense to. to a lot of people, but just because I feel like there's a decent chance Stephen Crowder will see this and this will be the only time that I get to say this. Debate Sam Cedar, dude. Stop being such a pussy. <laughs> uh, I know that your dad doesn't want you to. Uh, and. You know, but that was a long time ago. That was three. You're you're three years older now. It's time. It's time to debate Sam. So <laughs> Do you, ah, and notably, he doesn't include this. He watches the whole clip, but not the debate Sam Cedar. Weird. He didn't cover that part. He now, went into a lot of detail on everything else. Oh yeah. Oh, exhaustive detail. Huh. Now, who is Sam Cedar? Sam Cedar is the host of a political left-leaning show called The Majority Report. Has a million subs. He's a big channel. Crowder famously backed out of a scheduled debate with Sam at Politicon, earning him the name Cold Feet Crowder at the behest of his dad. Sam secretly recorded the phone call with the organizer of the event who exposed Crowder. Here's the call. Yeah, that's a real shame. I think you're, you're bigger. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what his team is doing around him. And that's, you know, just for me to speculate at this point, um, he... I don't know. He has a team? He has a whole team and he won't do it? He can bring the team. I believe it's his father, but I can't no. confirm or deny that. By the way, everyone seems to be confirming that it's his dad doing all this shit behind the scenes somehow. So people speculate that actually he actually backed out of the debate because Sam is actually, you know, an informed, good debater. And they were afraid that, you know, Crowder would look like an idiot. And so he backed out at the last minute at the behest of his father. The thing is, he's happy to challenge me, somebody that has no political, not very little. I don't spend my day t talking and thinking about politics, nor am I a debater, nor am I, let's be honest, intelligent. So if we, right, let's be honest. So with all that being said, we figured let's get someone who is familiar with the topics, who does spend their time thinking about politics, and who is, you know, unlike me, smart. So we've got a little surprise for Steven Crowder. So let's all enjoy the debate. I'm really glad to have uh, my next guest on the show. And I've always said this. I always respect people who um, enter the enter into the arena. Um, and, you know, we've had a lot of debates on this show, which is different from like a change of my mind where we sit down and have conversations. But uh, my old Brazilian jiu-jitsu coach always said, if you come a switch, we go switch. You go spicy, we're going to do a little spicy. So we always try and uh, keep it as respectful as possible. And I really do appreciate the guy making the time because a lot of people haven't. has a huge YouTube channel, several YouTube channels, one of the OGs. Mm -hmm. A lot of people watch him. Uh, you know him. Some of you like him. Some of you don't. Same can be said for me. Ethan Klein from H3H3. Uh, Ethan, thank, thanks, man, for making the time. You're very welcome. And I just want to say, I know you called me. You said that I would be a layup. <laughs> which I, I is think fine, I which is like fine, that. and yeah, I think yeah, you're yeah. right, because I don't think I'm a very good debater. I think you know that. So uh, I didn't want to make it too easy for you. Oh, okay. So uh, I've prepared. Okay. Yes. 
All right. So, so what we were going to talk ready. about is uh, what we were going to talk about is, you know, the initial quote that happened. I think he's looking off there. Uh, the initial quote that kind of was turned into um, a little bit uh, of a meme, which wasn't intentional. And uh, was you saying you don't even have to think about it regarding the CDC. Hmm. Uh, and I disagree with that. Um, I think people should think about it. I believe and we said, talked about this through playful ribbing in an aggregation of medical authorities and scientific voices to make an informed and rational decision. Um, so where do you think that I was that I'm wrong on that? Stephen, do you know that um, the Spartans are that they are like uh, practice man love with children? Oh, geez. OK, so this is what's going to happen. I to, what did I tell you? He was going to do anything he could to avoid. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh no, Sam Cedar! What a whoa, what a fucking nightmare! Thank you, I had no idea this was going to happen. I thought I thought Ethan was a stand-up guy. This is oh, where we wow. are. Yeah, I told Dave. Dave, remember I told you? I told you. I said this is. I guarantee you, he's going to do anything he can to avoid the debate. Well, I just think he believes that he should debate you. No, no, he doesn't. He just takes advantage of of women with you know mental health Steven, issues. Ethan you know Klein what? doesn't I, stand up and do to his own fighting. I say. Right. It's I just hilarious. Let's bring on FM. You would uh, do anything to avoid talking to me. I think you're the point that you made. Yes, that's right. Joe Rogan. Yeah, Joe Rogan and Dave Rubin and, 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 and Jordan Peterson and Noam Chomsky and Sam Harris. Everyone's been avoiding. And not just attempting to get Peter. your audience by jumping in. <laughs> well, I, I debated <laughs> with uh, Charlie Kirk. <laughs> Stephen, I mean. It's okay. about issues. Let's about talk issues. about those yeah. issues. That's what you're doing here. Valid yeah. points. You're so clever. I, I had no idea that. that you were taking your show off early last time, coming in today with your pig pen peanuts. I wish every. <laughs> You take those off with a velvet really team button. We well, must have been Black very worried eyes, about this, Stephen. Like I don't know why. No it one's would be, worried oh, come about it. So I didn't want to well, do let's, it. Let's have Sam, a debate. Come on, no just, I'll tell you what. I have, general, I have a general. I have a general. This is a rule. great opportunity. I don't start a debate to, based with people on a lie. And how about you get sabotaging? To a, how about you get Stephen? To a show yourself, you coward. Stephen, show yourself. Don't show your co-host. Ethan, you should show yourself. Ethan, how can you respect yourself as a man, brother? Stephen, so Stephen, you are such a Howard, stop debate. showing your little leprechaun you co-host who comes right, out right. dressed hey, like Ethan, your Ethan, sidekick. Come on, Ethan, why do you have to bring I'm on a show? Stephen, the I'm really of the why are you? The saddest thing I've ever heard. So you Just have a guy with Steven. less viewers to come on to debate him because you can't? <laughs> Well, obviously, if I'm a, a apparently if, obviously I'm a, it, if I'm a layup yeah, and not a debater. Well, look, yeah, you're the I one mean, who you're called. The one you're the one who got the one started. The one that got angry about. Show it. Stephen, look, don't be hold such a, a coward. Right, hold on. So let me let me let me hear what let me hear what Pig Pen has to say here really quick. Fair enough. Show But Ethan, Ethan, look, I don't. Hold on a second, Ethan. This because initially I came on here to talk with Ethan. Ethan, come on, man. Look, the same reason that I haven't ever had a conversation with Sam Cedars, the same reason that uh, Joe Rogan, uh, Sam Harris, Brett Weinstein, Dave Rubin, Ben Shapiro don't own anything. It's based on a lie, Ethan. Just what's like you lie? claiming my Ethan, what's the lie? You claiming you know, my book reached Stephen? out to you, Ethan, when you Stephen, know that's not the true. There's no what's one the ducking you, Sam. Are you I've so never afraid. Sam, Yo, Sam, listen, Sam, I Sam, think Sam, you're Sam. A smart guy. I can call out Mike I don't Tyson. Understand why it doesn't mean that I'm ducking so him. so worried about this. Why do you feel that? Why don't. do you feel that anyone, Sam? Why do you feel that anyone owes you airtime when you have a 40th of the audience and you've been doing I a show? I don't think anybody for 10 owes me airtime. I think I think that Ethan has just given it to me. I didn't right. ask him for it, and right. so no, you've been begging for it for a long time with everyone Stephen, bigger than yourself. So yeah, he found you can't build an audience, and so what why happens is he uploads so fifteen times more, do you think has less than a fiftieth of the audience. Well, that's why he wants to debate you, audience, you is so he can build his. Sam, do you Sam, think come on, your where's... audience cares yeah, yeah. that I only have a million subscribers and you have what six or seven million I think, subscribers? Let me answer. Can I answer your question? Can I answer your question? Can I answer your question? Do sure. you want me to answer your question? My audience would say Sam who? Just like Joe Rogan's audience and Ben well, Shapiro's and Dave Rubin. Now they all Rubin. know who I am. Now you they all know who you are because you had to show on yourself and do another coward so show. College students, show. every day that you do that, uh, change we, my hold mind. On a second, hold they on a second. don't know who those college students are. This is another lie. Are. This is another lie. Let me, let me clarify, be? Sam. Let me clarify, Sam. The change my mind, everyone knows on the show, right? We've had professors on the- How did you know I ended my show early last week, Stephen? If your audience doesn't even know Because you're an idiot. How and half you of your that? staff doesn't Do you like my you show? because I'm a diehard fan. Yes, it's because I he's a diehard fan. Well, if you're yeah, a diehard fan, you, but I just why, met you. Why not? Congratulations, me Sam Cedars fan. Stephen, have a conversation. Fan. 
I, I will talk right about every time I try and talk, you're interrupting, talk Sam. About. Steve, yeah, right now, I'm trying to talk with you. You're interrupting, Sam. You bombarded Sam. the show. Okay, you, bombarded, you bombarded my show under a false pretense. You claim that ever, just like you claim that I ducked the debate with you under a false pretense. Have I ever? Uh, that is what the Politicon people told me. Oh, that what they the told you? Well, so you're just lazy yeah. with your research? And if no, big tech what, is, you continue with the lie. They you need to research to say, did Stephen ever they, accept? They said you were let me, booked. Let me explain to you. Let me explain they to you. Let me explain to you. Hey, hey, and whoa, 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 whoa. Sam, and you literally Sam, 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 sweetheart. Spirit. Sam, fake stand-up comic who we can't find any footage about online. Let I'm me not finish. a stand-up comic. Oh, you're not. Okay, that makes sense because everything that I've seen is incredibly unfunny and unentertaining, well, which may I'm explain the audience. Ironic, irony alert, Stephen. Comedian. How much have you Comedian. watched of my stuff, Stephen? That you alert. think Sam, that your audience can I answer your question? Appreciate our, Sam, our, our discussing Sam, things. Sam, Samuel, can I answer your question? Yes. So you have gone on. You've done the same thing with other other comments. Everyone has a bigger audience than you, because you said I want to speak with Stephen Crowder. You believe that at some point there was some acceptance. When have I ever done a, a Politicon? Ever. I when don't have I, know. As a matter of fact, I in the last decade, like in the last decade, mine, in the I, last decade, I haven't done a single political conference. I hosted CPAC say, for four years and stopped because they suck. How they don't say, pay okay. and they're full of losers. What about Gavin and you've been McGinnis clamoring show. for it. And Gavin it's a lie. told me that you dropped out of doing how his show because that you, this is I just here saying go gossip. How can I, I've never met more of a woman. When he wants to keep debating. I don't know. All right. Let's talk about the issue. So, Ethan, do you want to have a conversation, Ethan, about the vaccine? Because Ethan, you want to have a conversation? going to hide. You absolutely, so I do. About big tech. So why are you hiding behind San Cedar? Oh, no, 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 no me and Sam are aligned. I'm not hiding. Him. He just well, you're just no, a liar. Because so so liar. remember, we said, hold on a second, hold on a second. Debate. I mean, it yeah. sort of yeah, feels yeah. like it's you ridiculous. guys are the ones who are hiding. Really? Hiding? really? No, 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 this is actually, who snuck in on you? Who's the guy who never appears on stage, never does a live show, but never even sheds, never even allows a shadow of comedy to be perceived on his program? It's just hiding. Everything we do is out in the open. H three, H three. Stephen, you know you're wearing a holster. We agreed. So what? Hold on a second. Yeah. So, yeah. I want to normalize uh, responsible gun ownership. Is that your debate? No wonder you had to bring in a hack for you. you. Well, no, you're talking about comedy. Well, that's yeah. a debate yeah. strategy. Steven, that's right. not very funny. You have a holster, bro. Also, you're you have a holster. You have a holster. You takes advantage of mentally ill you, women you, for a show. Which is just about women. Women. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. All of it. All right, Sam. You 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 got it. You got it. I hope you have a. No, come on. It's not a highlight reel. Hold on. 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 Let me just make one point. Hope you enjoy Politicon. Hold on. Let me make one point, Steven. Take it easy. Steven, don't bail. I appreciate it. Don't bail, you coward. Hey, Sam. One thing before I go. One thing before I go. Can you take off your glasses? Even? Hold on. One thing before I go. I you take off your see, glasses. We just want to see. I just want to see if you take them off. If you have the, if you have the velveteen rabbit buttons. That's the oh, only thing I'm curious about. It's the only I, interesting part Steven, about it. Or if I, there's a soul. Let's just take debate. Off the, take off the glasses. Let's debate, uh, Stephen. Don't hide behind the glasses. Don't be a coward. Don't say let's will, debate, Ethan. You've I lost the power. Debate the issues. Debate the issues. What does it matter who you debate, coward? All right. Good. You guys are good. Thank you. Coward. You won't even take off the glasses. I was right. All right. Yeah. You can run away. You run away twice. Cold feet again. Come on, Stephen. Wow. Wow, dude, I can't believe he admit to following. He admitted that he followed the show last week. <laughs> we got him. He admitted that he watched the show last we week. We got we him. Early. Dude, we played him so hard because oh. he, he literally was following. He saw that you went live, dude. We fucking got him. Oh, my God. We fucking nailed him. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> So do you want to respond to here? You want to throw him up, Dan? Yeah. Do you want to respond to anything he said now that he's not talking over you? Um, well, I, I mean, look, uh, he's obviously lying about the idea that he wouldn't want to do uh, do a debate with me because his audience wouldn't know. Here's a guy who literally tracked my show last week because he was afraid that this would happen. He is a, here's a guy who right. uh, claims to have watched. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is he said he watched, but. He's not worried about audience not knowing who he's debating because he sits down with random college kids and sandbags them on uh, their campus. He, I have the recording from Politicon when they called and he backed out. I have emails from Gavin McGinnis, whose show I would have never gone on except he offered up a debate with Crowder and Crowder left. And so, you know, I think Stephen is afraid 
of debating somebody. You know, look, I do a political show every day. It's yeah, dry. I don't. It's boring. It's, it's obvious. And you don't. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and so afraid. if he wants to debate the issues, what's the difference between him, me and anybody in the world? I, I mean, only that he is convinced that uh, for whatever reason— He's nervous about debating me. I don't know why. I don't know why that's the case. But I debated uh, Charlie Kirk at Politicon. It was fine. I thought Kirk did a fairly good job. I think Stephen's not uh, a total idiot, but I also do think he's a bit of a liar. I mean, yeah, we even went through the effort of tracking down this claim that he never booked us for the show. I mean, here's the email. Super professional. So I was like, I definitely... I reached out to the girl. She said... Um, I said, did you send me this email? She said, yes, I did. Years ago, for a few months, I worked for Steven Crowder booking. I'm not quite sure who you'd contact now. I know his dad <laughs> does the booking for him. Let me know if you need me to try to find you. How would she know that if she didn't work for them? You know, what's funny is that when the Politicon... Um, when the, the woman from Politicon called me, she also mentioned that his dad, uh, he, she said his team, I think Stephen got cold feet, his team pulled him out. And I said, wait, he's got a team? <laughs> and he said, well, his dad. Right. And, right, right. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I called my dad to see if he could call Stephen's dad to see if Stephen would uh, debate me, like on some type of play oh. date. But my father said, reminded me that I was a grown man and I should probably handle it myself. Oh, you know, that's funny. My dad is actually Zooming with his dad later today <laughs> to debate these very topics. You know what else he lied about? Uh, filing this lawsuit. He, there's no lawsuit he ever filed, at least that I can find in the public record, which lawsuits are public record. Uh, so he, ha he is a liar, as far you know, uh, the evidence does, does suggest. Yeah. And the thing is, is that, you know, they go on and on about getting demonetized from YouTube or whatever it is. And uh, they never it, for them, it's really just a, a way of generating clicks. There are. Oh, yes. Uh, the same with policies. the lawsuit. Yeah. I mean, there are policies that you could pursue, but he can't ever address those because his ideology is such that there's no way uh, in, uh, for, for him to address it as a policy matter. Uh, so, because as a policy matter, he'd have to agree that there needs to be government regulation of these things, and he doesn't believe in government regulation. And so, uh, he just goes out there and makes it as if it's like uh, conservatives are somehow being oppressed, as well, opposed that's not, to... It's actually not true at all. Everybody who talks about these issues, if they're taking a conservative or liberal stance on them, are, they're all getting demonetized equally. The fact that... Oh, yeah! The fact that Stephen wants to go out there and do a mock execution of George Floyd and then act bewildered when his channel gets uh when his videos get demonetized is qu it's quite surprising to me that he would even be feigned surprised at that yeah we get i don't know i don't, I don't know how what our percentage of demonetization <laughs> is for our videos it happens we just don't whine about it like right. they do and use it to generate the clicks it's because we're willing to talk about topics that we know i mean we don't do sh sh shit like what uh, crowder does that that are just out and out racist and <laughs> and uh, homophobic, but we will, we will talk about protests. We will talk about, um, you know, political situations that advertisers don't want to be a part of. Absolutely. And that's just part of doing the job responsibly is understanding you're not going to be able to suck a dollar out of every single uh, bit of content <laughs> yeah, well. if you're actually, you know, trying to, uh, you know, make a, a point about issues. And uh, one other thing he keeps bringing up, apparently the reason he's ducked you, Sam, is because you only have one million subscribers uh, I know it. and I I'd actually challenge somebody to go through all of the interviews he's done and find any with under a million because that would be quite ironic yeah I find it hard to believe that Steven has that metric particularly since half of his you know all of his change my minds are with college students who may not even have a YouTube channel right you have more <laughs> subs than them surely I, at least a yeah, couple I more mean, than I'm, them yeah well hmm I feel we got him pretty good here, Sam. Well, you know, I would have liked to have had an exchange of ideas with Steven, so Me I'm a too. little bit disappointed. And I know how much you were looking forward to that, too. Uh, you know, we had, uh, but I guess Steven is just more interested in personalities than he is uh, actually debating issues. Yeah. It's sort of sad. It is it's sad. Sort of sad. It is sad because he claims he's a political thinker, but. He doesn't think he didn't think much in this case. Uh, I got to wonder if there are members of his audience right now who are probably thinking like, hey, wait a second. Maybe Stephen is actually afraid of having some type of exchange. I mean, he spent 
How many times did he say in the preface of, of going on air with you, you know, a lot of times people won't show up for debates with me. And Here we well, are, baby. He only wants to debate, um, you know, people who have a perspective on the left that have a, a YouTube channel that's over a million. Well, maybe you've got to expand your horizons oh, may, a little bit. Maybe you should be looking to debate people who are actually proficient in debating and the topics itself. Instead of, he referred to me as a layup, and I would agree with him in that I'm not politically savvy, and I'm not a debater. So what, so what, what actual... Uh, value is there in debating me for him other than for him to look smart and get an easy point exactly but but let me say this that the original points that you were making about when it came to like the masks um i uh i've interviewed i don't know uh half a dozen different epidemiologists maybe a little bit more over the past year uh on the show uh some of the top epidemiologists in the country and the fact of the matter is, is that there was uh, confusion and really not uh, the science was not settled of on the course. way that COVID was, was transferred. They, they, they didn't realize that it could be yeah. aerosolized. But the bottom line is, is that wearing masks, once they understood this, where the downside to wearing masks is nil. zero. Well, yeah, and, according to Stephen, scientists are not ever allowed to change their mind. See, uh, scientists need to be right the first time and only the first time. They're not allowed to change their stance with data and research. And if they do, then they're frauds forever, for everything. Right. I mean, I even saw Stephen talking about, oh, uh, Fauci was wrong about AIDS back in, you know, the, what was it, the, uh, the early 80s. And that's proof. Right. He, is, he, Fauci was wrong sometime previously in his career. Uh, so therefore, he is a fraud forever. I, speaking of fraud, I noticed that uh, that uh, Crowder put up a, an email, you know, making a big deal about these emails from Fauci. And one of them he put up was from February 12th, where Fauci was saying, we don't think masks for the general public is going to be that effective or make a point. Which is and what he is, said publicly. Which is what he said publicly yeah. a month later. But the fact is, is that the the development of the science behind aer aerosolization of the virus was an ongoing effort, it wasn't until like, you know, uh, late April right. that they started to realize this is the way it's going through there. And then they don't, it's not easy to, to take a novel new coronavirus and assess like what are the size of the particles? Right. But the bottom line is once they said do masks, it is an easy lift to wear a mask. It sucks, but it was the safest thing to do. And I'm sitting here with a, with a study. I mean, they're really starting to come out now um, that... The masks cut down by anywhere from 25 to 35 percent mm. on the transmission. Mm. And so the idea that there are some scientists, he talks about aggregating the science. Look, he doesn't know how to aggregate. He's afraid to debate me. And I, you know, a, a guy with a million subscribers on YouTube, he's, a, he, he's not aggregating the science. There are professionals who aggregate the science. Sam, and do you think that the size of your sub count is a... Uh, is a is there a correlation to to your uh, sk your skills as a debater? That seems to be what Crowder's understanding is. I, apparently, yeah. uh, or it's just that he he is looking for any excuse as just, to why he doesn't want to have a conversation with somebody who actually, you know, day in day out reads this stuff and talks to uh, uh, scientists and talks to reporters. I mean, look, you can find a lot of people who will say the Earth is flat. And if I aggregate those into all the scientists who say the Earth is, in fact, not flat, then you could say there's some questions. But, but that's not the way that science works. The fact of the matter is, is that, like, w we have a basic understanding of what, what, what's going on. And the idea of you saying, listen to the scientists, particularly addressing YouTube guys... Well, right? like, yeah, when you're Steven that's Crowder, a good idea. When, ex, thank you. Yeah. So obviously our whole little battle came when Steven, Steven said it's his favorite clip of the year of us saying, listen, if you're like, uh, you know, listen, you, it's OK to listen to to scientists who are trying <laughs> to save. It's OK. You don't need to question every single thing that comes across you, especially if you have no qualifications at all to assess this information. The fact that we need to be skeptical of every single thing of our government, that we don't trust our government to, to that extent, then then our society has failed us in, in, in a way that we should just end it now.
But I, you know, I think like you can be skeptical, but the fact of the matter is, is that what Crowder is not doing, he's not being skeptical in any type of thoughtful way. He is weaponizing mm. doubts that happen to align with his political ideology. We saw it with the president that he was so supportive of. I mean, uh, you know, you can, it's not hard to find many clips of Trump saying this is just going to go away. It's mm -hmm. not really serious. There's only a couple yeah. of cases we shouldn't even test. Right. And Crowder, that's why Crowder was doing it. I mean, if it was, if he was doing a genuinely skeptical, you know, sort of like uh, categorization and cataloging of the science and laying it out there in a way that showed some measure of integrity, but let's, let's be honest. I mean, people just watch this. Crowder had the opportunity to debate this with somebody who is, who is serious about it and wanted to debate with him. I did nothing but, you know, approach this with, with a respectful manner. And he was afraid to do that because he knows he's full of it. So and he's much just delivering so. talking points that, you know, uh, his NRA buddies, you know, give him to well, go. Yeah, they they all, it's all, it's all part of the big grift that all these conservative media, it's like you said, it's like, uh, they suck every dollar out of every controversy, and that's all that matters to him because, you know, he's got these big, beautiful leather holsters, and those things don't fill themselves, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and you know, it, it is worth mentioning once again that he noticed that you ended your show early last week. And that's right. I, and we, we specifically were like, I know he's watching because he's so afraid of Sam that we need to <laughs> pre-record something, air yeah. it, so that he thinks you're live. Right, right and it now, worked. as we are talking, you're there live. is a live show yeah, that's and on, it and he came he on. We started the show two minutes early, and he did not walk on to the set until our show was live. So true. And and you call. I gotta say, you called it last week, Thank and you. I was like, I can't. I just don't believe that he's that nervous. Yeah, yep. he was. I can't believe a, he admitted. A, a it. It, what a I, dumbass to what admit a dumbass. it. And also, <laughs> like, the alternative is I think that Sam could show up, and I can't wait to show my audience how this moron who's been dogging me supposedly and sending people to you know, debate me and this and that. I'm going to put this to rest once and for all. If Steven Crowder was as much of a man as he seems to, to be with his, you know, all his weightlifting and yeah. his... His gun and his holster. He's got a he's got a weapon for God's sakes. Yeah. I'm coming unarmed. Hands up. Yeah. If you want to shoot, go ahead. How much shoot. alpha brain do you think he takes in the morning? <laughs> he's probably juicing. <laughs> and the idea that he had at least a week in advance knowledge that he couldn't come prepared to debate somebody who actually reads this stuff and spends their time doing this is is almost like the saddest thing that one could say about Stephen Crowder. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. I'm almost. sure there's some other things. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> Stephen. It's really sad. I mean, I was looking forward but, to it and because I really wanted to The ultimate irony, debate. right, <clears throat> as you've pointed out, is that he's the guy who got famous for with the debate me. He can't, if you're the debate me guy, that's yeah. your claim to fame. You can't dodge people that want to debate you, Stephen. You got to own this thing that you create, this image you created. Stop being a bitch. Stop being a baby. You're like, come on, Stephen. <clears throat> I think he lost the right to the to those holsters. I think he has to retire them. <clears throat> Honestly, yeah, I think I'm maybe calling it's time on retiring those holsters today. Uh, <clears throat> normalize wearing a squirt gun instead is what I would say to him. You'd have I to agree. Or maybe like a, a Nerf. <clears throat> they have to have like a Nerf weapon. Like I don't. Is he old enough to now like have a, a license for a handgun, or he doesn't need to anymore? Yeah, I mean, I think <clears throat> honestly. Like, I think we need to have a meeting with his dad. And, yeah, uh, I have his email his father now, so I'll be... Maybe we should email him just say, you know, we think that... that uh, I don't know if his after, dad will be answering any of my yeah. emails after today. After today, we're going to have to ask for his uh, badge and uh, well, look, weapon. We're both fathers. I, I can't tell you how disappointed I would be in my son oh. if he did what Stephen did. Oh, so disappointed, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, son. I, I, I just uh, my son had his final uh, uh, Pony League baseball game yesterday, and I saw more courage from some of those eight-year-olds 
uh, than we witnessed from Steven Crowder today. I mean, I would say probably like like a good three or four of them were a lot tougher than Crowder. One yeah. guy hit the ball, the other one like uh, tripped. Yeah. And, uh, oh, that's one of them didn't have their favorite hat, but they all played through it. Right. They all played through Inspiring. it. And I, sad that that, that did you, Steven. Did you find it interesting too how he wouldn't put the camera on him for a minute? It was just on his sidekick. Yeah, what do you think was going on? Do you think he was like, like going like, dad, dad, yeah, get yeah, dad yeah, in yeah, here. yeah, 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 get dad in here, <laughs> yeah, get dad, dad in it, here got now, it, got it, got it. <laughs> but I'm glad he finally brought it back because I was like, what is with the sidekick? Why are you throwing him under the bus? <laughs> I know it. And the sidekick had to pretend like he was a big fan of mine. And he had that's to come in real quick. Yeah. Monitoring the show. That is. His wow. sidekick wasn't even drunk yet. It is early. Usually that guy's pissed drunk by uh, <laughs> the time they do their show. Is I, you know, to be honest, like I have the only time I think I've watched a uh, an extended run of Crowder show was when he was talking about you. I was trying to figure out like how, how did this start? And he was really drippily condescending for a guy who is afraid oh, to yeah. actually test his 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 beliefs. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm surprised. I haven't seen him so weak since watching him get punched in the face and dropping like a deck like a house of cards By an in old man, uh, Wisconsin. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. I don't know if you knew this. So Crowder, when he was complaining about what happened on YouTube to him. You know, like he put out a compilation video of people responding to when he got decked by a union guy in Wisconsin at the uh, 2011 uh, March protests against Scott Walker. And in that compilation, I was in it and put the video out. And then he pulled it back and cut me out of the compilation and reposted it on Twitter. <laughs> Do we have that stuff? Oh wow, he you are, he that? is deathly afraid of you. It is uh, uh, we somebody on Twitter saw it and sent it in. We did a video about it, but he it is it is weird. He is deathly afraid. And how he pretends? That's the thing I don't get. Like, how do you spend so much time worrying about somebody that you think is not big enough to even like well, who discuss? Is he, who is he supposed to debate then? If not I, you. I don't know. Yeah, me? I'm not a political debater. I'm just some dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, maybe he's trolling through to find, like, you know, like, uh, <clears throat> makeup uh, tutorial uh, <laughs> right, sites right. that have, like, two million Loggers, uh, subscribers. Yeah. Or, I mean, uh, anybody who doesn't Minecrafters know. Minecrafters have a lot of subs. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There's some Minecrafters my son watches that... Um, that uh, that 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 maybe he'd like to debate on, on some of these <laughs> right, issues. Right, right. <clears throat> wow. All right. Well, we got him, dude. Yeah, that was fun. I appreciate your your attempting to to I, further the discourse, Ethan. I, I mean, think, that's the thing. and that's all I care about. At the end yeah, of the day, I, I just wanted to put forward the best conversation possible to inform the most people possible. But Stephen today yep. wasn't able to do that for us. I know it's so sad. It's a disappointment. Uh, you gave him the opportunity. And, and I hope his dad does have a stern talking to, like, son, this is the way to behave. This is the this was not the proper way to behave in this situation. And gives him a I good mean, fatherly talk. There's been times where I've said to my son, we're going to call up blankety blanks dad or mom, and you're going you're gonna to get on the phone and you're going to apologize. And right, so right, I just right. want to say... I am sure I don't want to speak for you, but we'll be very gracious when Stephen's dad calls and puts oh, Stephen yeah. on the phone. When someone apologizes, you 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 accept that. Yeah, you know, because you I, have to. I swallow. want to make that absolutely clear yeah. that yeah. if um, if Stephen calls to apologize, I'm going to be gracious about it. Yeah, that's funny. That you just reminded me. He kept telling me. Um, he kept telling me. I respect anyone that enters the ring, and I'll make my fans known of that. I'm. It's very. I. I respect that you're willing to enter the ring with me, mm. and uh, apparently he doesn't respect that about you. No, I guess not. You don't no, have enough subscribers. Be, I don't have enough subscribers to earn the respect to enter the ring. When yeah. you enter the ring, a million you is must a lot, do so. Apparent, I, I'd like to know where, at what point, you are capable of entering the ring. 
Uh, and we'll, I'll uh, what's try the to get, subscriber yeah, threshold? Where, what is because the, the first exactly. time, the first time he made this argument, I only had I think <clears throat> five hundred thousand subscribers, and sure. then uh, and then it, 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 I feel like it's there's a, the goalposts are like he's dragging them with him as he runs along uh, down the field, and they're just getting further and further. Yeah, away. I mean, I'll try to get more intel on that for you. All right, I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate that. And you know, maybe uh, folks can you know uh, you know reach out to him on Twitter and ask him politely. You know, uh, w you know, how far are the goalposts? Where's what? what, what yeah, let's sh let's find out so that we can have something to work towards. Right. So exactly. if you can ask Stephen, what? How many subs does Sam need to be worthy of uh, the big stage? Because I'll I'll show. stick at it just <laughs> to hit that number. Um, and well, we can buy you subs, or you know, we can work something <laughs> that's out. That's true. Yeah. We can just buy the subs. Yeah. That really occurred to me, but yes, we'll I should have out. done that. I should have done that today. I should have yeah. bought a, a, oh, really, a million well, hold subs. Hold on, Stephen. Uh, give me a minute. Um, all right. Well, uh, I've got to. Uh, my show, uh, the re the the uh, pre-record is going to end uh, in about twenty minutes. Uh, the one that is there almost exclusively for Stephen and his dad. And, I hope <laughs> and it worked. Yeah, it they watched work. it. Amazing. Right. Amazing it, that he admit that. <laughs> oh for a God, smart was... for a parent smart guy, he really shouldn't have said that. That was probably the biggest mistake he made. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. And the, the second was... one was coming after me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that that was probably the first mistake he made. And then there were subsidiary mistakes uh, that followed. All right, yes. Sam. Ethan, it was a pleasure. I can't uh, right. thank you enough for the opportunity. I'm thank sorry. You. Stephen this was great. Yeah. Apologies yeah. to Stephen and his dad for. Uh, yeah. Me too. You know, me yeah, too. just feel. Well. All right. All right. Have a good bye day. Bye. bye. You too.